Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civil Softwares. I hope you guys are doing absolutely well. Today in this video, we are going to learn about assigning different kind of loads in SAP 2000 um, and we are going to analyze the shear force diagram and bending moment diagrams for these three questions. So let's begin. At first, you need to go to SAP 2000 and open a new model just like this. Okay, then in our questions, we have kilonewton and meter. So we need to set the unit right. So it's kilonewton, meter, and Celsius. So it's good. So we're not uh, changing anything here. So now we are going on grid only. Then here, oh, it asks about how many grid lines you want in each direction. So you can see in our question that uh, we don't need anything in Y, but in X direction, we need one. Two, two grid lines so I'm assigning two grid lines in X direction like this and in Y direction we do not need anything but let's keep one in Z direction okay let's keep it uh, two uh, grid spacing okay for grid spacing in X direction you can see the span of our beam is 3 plus 3 6 so we are just keeping it 6 and in Y direction it does not matter because we just have one grid line in Y in z direction 3 okay it's okay so we are click clicking on okay now we appear in this window uh, okay let's just change our plane from x y to x z so that we can visualize more easily x z plane is this blue line which is showing in the 3d now we are going to assign a beam from a to b before that i'm just going to tell you something about defining load patterns so this sap 2000 whenever you assign any member on um, sap 2000 it calculates its uh, weight too so if we need to analyze this beam and perform its uh, analysis about the surface diagram and bending moment diagram uh, it will automatically add the weight of this beam to in addition to our 10 kN point load so we do not want that to happen so we are going to define and we are going to load patterns and just we are going to assign the self weight multiplier as zero which will make sure that it won't calculate the self weight automatically so that we can just analyze how this 10 kilonewton load affects this beam and what kind of diagrams it gives so i'm just keeping it zero and modify load pattern okay now i'm going to assign a beam over here so for that you need to go to this option or this option anything is fine uh, fine uh, so i'm going to draw frame cables i just need to uh, at first let's see this properties of object we have not assigned any kind of uh, user defined section properties because we are just uh, analyzing the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram point from our point loads so let's just keep it as it is let's not just uh, do anything over here so let's go here and draw a beam just like this now we're done drawing the beam uh, now we need to assign hinge over here and roller over here so we're just clicking on this point and we go to assign then we go to joints then we go to restraints then we are just assigning hinge over here then apply okay you can see hinge appeared here now you go to here and just apply the roller apply okay now we are going to assign 10 kN load at the center of the beam as it is given in question 3 meter from this end point to over here okay so let's go to um, this screen and just select the member where you want to assign the load so go to this member we need to assign this load over here so go to assign then go to frame loads then we are just assigning the point load so go to point load okay let's see the general properties over here load pattern is dead okay coordinate system is global okay load direction it's gravity okay and load type is force it's absolutely fine so here are two types types of uh, functions from which you can give the uh, loads one is relative distance from end i and another is absolute distance 
so let me first explain about the absolute distance from int i so if you go to absolute distance from int i it is going to ask us about the distance from this point if you want to assign any kind of load over here you need to give uh, this distance from this point up to the point where you want to assign the load okay from this point from the beginning point to the point where load is to be applied so for now i'm going to assign 10 kN load in 3 meter distance so it's fine okay so i'm just going to apply and i'm going to click on okay so in this way you can just apply 10 kN load in the beam okay so now let me show you how relative distance works okay let me draw a beam from here to okay let me draw a beam here quickly okay now let me assign the restraints just like i did before joint restraints and hinge apply then i'm going to also assign roller over here apply okay now i'm going to go on this member and assign the load frame load and point load okay so now i'm going to assign from the relative distance uh, method so if you are into relative distance method you need to consider this whole span length to one so what does this mean this means that our six meter span is one so if you want to assign at the middle if six equals to one then three equals to 0 0.5 so you need to assign 10 kilonewton load in 0 0.5 distance and in other distances let's just keep zero so then let's apply it so it's going to give us 10 kN. so this is how you can assign <coughs> loads from two different ways now what you need to do is you need to just analyze this beam and we need to generate the uh, bending moment diagram and shear force diagram so let's just run this analysis okay so here we are not running this model so uh, let's just do uh, do not run case we are just running this dead case okay so let's click on run now okay so let's save this on our folder okay practice save okay now it is going to analyze our beam and give us the result okay so this is how our analysis result looks and here are different kind of warning messages then everything just if you need to read it you can for now i'm just clicking on done now if you want to run the animation let's just run the animation let's see how it works okay like this. let's just stop the animation now we want to look how uh, our bending moment diagram surface diagram looks like okay so let's go to show forces and stresses okay at first let's see what are the reactions in this point and this point okay at our joints so let's go to this and let's go to joints okay joints now here you can see dead load combination is step one arrows and tabulated okay let's just click apply and see apply okay so it's going to give you the reactions 5 kN and 5 kN makes 10 kN our total load was 10 kN so it's fine 5 kN and 5 kN okay so if you want to make it into tabulated form you can just go here click on tabulated and click on apply so it keeps you in tabulated form okay you can just click on okay now okay now if you want to see the bending moment diagram and zero force diagram you just need to go there and go to frame cable tendons now here you can find shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for shear force diagram go to shear to two then apply okay so this is our shear force diagram sfd so this is our sfd if you want to look into any values you can just go here and just watch you can just see okay and if you want to get the moment diagram go to moment 33 and just click on apply 
so this is our moment diagram so if you want to know the values of moment diagram at different places you can just click on here and like this okay, let's just click ok ok now if you want to go here and see in details about anything you can just go here and just right click here ok just right click over here it is going to give you detail about everything that you need so case is load and item is measure minor everything is over here and you can just see different diagrams over here deflections you can see uh, its value is also given here deflection value so everything is done like this okay we will solve next question in another video thank you guys bye bye